So my name is James Hayward, I'm a technology analyst at ID TechX and we're here at the ID TechX show in Berlin, Germany and it's great to be here with Jack who's the co-founder of Doppel, so perhaps you can introduce your company to us. Um, so to the camera or to you? To both of us, that both. doesn't matter, you can talk okay. to me if you want. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. Why so um, Doppel is a uh, wristband and what it does is it can make the wearer feel more calm and focused. And the way it does that is through our innate response to rhythm. So an upbeat song gets you going, a downbeat song chills you out. This is because you physiologically respond to rhythm. So we can create the same effect but silently so that you can use it anywhere. Do you feel calmer since you've been using it? Uh, <laughs> since you founded the company? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe not calmer from founding a company, but yeah. it's really helped with the times when it's been stressful. So I really like it for presentations for that reason. So. So tell us, so how does it work? So what you have is a little motor in a, in a, in a watch that sits on your, inside of your forearm and then... Yeah, so it feels like a heartbeat. That's very key. And what happens is you calibrate it to your resting heart rate using an app. And once you've got that, there are certain rhythms to either calm you down or to get you more stimulated. So you calibrate the band to yourself and then at any time you can start it. So when you're feeling stressed, you can start something that helps to calm you down. Right, so it's with an app that you've developed as well and comes yeah. alongside of the package? Yeah, so it's a, an app and a, a response. Great. So tell us a bit more about the company. How did it start? How did you come about to co-founding this? this? Okay, so there was four co-founders um, and we developed Stoppel together at university at Imperial College and the Royal College of Art. And we were originally looking into just how technology changes how we feel right. and how that just happens after the event, you just see it. And could we design could we design technology to actually do that? Right. And then we started working with psychologists on um, on in psychophysiology. And that's how your mind understands the signals coming from your body. And this is how we ended up developing sort of haptic haptics that uh, mimic our physiology in order to change how we feel. Sure, and so, so you, the, the four of you guys, you came out, you founded it, you built this great product. How did yeah. that How did that journey take place? Are you, you in crowdfunding, are you have VCs? Or? Yeah, so we, we started out, we were just doing research to see yeah, whether okay. we, could, we could do it or not. And then once we found out that we could do it and that people really, really liked it, we then wanted to make sure that they actually wanted to buy it. So we did a crowdfunding campaign, we did Kickstarter, um, and that went really well. We had a su successful campaign, and since then we've raised some more money and we've been doing all the development work, manufacturing, Fantastic. still taking pre-orders, um, and should be delivering very soon. Delivering soon. And yeah. so what, what's the sort of retail price at the moment then? What, what's um, it going at? So on pre-order, it's £125, um, $150, and when it launches, it'll be $179, which right now is £150, and I think it'll stay about the same. Sure, great. Great. And how about, so you're here as part of our launchpad system, yeah. which is, so I take it, so we, we work in emerging technologies, we're, um, we aim to try to help the commercialization of those emerging technologies. So uh, you obviously applied through the launchpad and were successful yeah. and you're here today with us. So how has your experience been here at the show? Uh, it's been fantastic. So we've met with so many people from different aspects of the various technologies that you, that you have here. Um, in particular, we spoke to quite a few people in sensing because we don't do sensing we calibrate through the phone there are avenues we want to explore that we want to use sensing for um, and yeah talking to people who are in that space has been very interesting I think we'll continue the conversation great so lots of lots of interesting leads for you to follow up and, and yeah. new discussion that could happen absolutely yeah fantastic so thanks very much Jack hope you enjoy the rest of the trade okay. show the rest of today and tomorrow and, uh, and all the best with everything okay